do you think this Putin's calculation was somehow right? No. <laughs> if, if, you, if, if you look at the fact that we are about to open, hopefully, uh, um, after a decision of the, of the European Council, Uh, membership negotiations with Ukraine, uh, I think the answer is the complete opposite, that this is the clearest sign uh, yet of Europe's long-term support for Ukraine. Uh, we are the largest contributors, uh, and uh, we have shown from the very first day uh, that we will not leave Ukraine alone, and that message is as strong uh, as, as ever, because it is exactly what Putin would like to exploit if we give uh, in any way a different message, and that's not the case. Yes and no. In a sense that, uh, yes, because, uh, look, I think that uh, this is exactly what Russia and its uh, leader, Mr. Putin, wants us to behave. Uh, he really believes that in democracies, uh, the political commitment is weak because we tend to have elections, we tend to have uh, a lot of uh, discussions, uh, there are always policy debates, there are always... Uh, discussions about the best way forward. There are also priorities ranging from the geopolitical issues to the health and social issues. And uh, I think that his calculation is simply that in uh, dictatorships, uh, manage wars is actually easier than in democracies. No, because he is wrong, and what uh, the history has shown that actually even with some kind of debate, even with some kind of uneasy decision-making process, uh, democracies are much resilient than we sometimes tend to think simply based on that or another kind of you know, discussion of the day or uh, disagreement of the day. But I want to very much agree with uh, President Metzola on one thing. I think that, frankly, we surprised ourselves. We surprised <laughs> Mr. Putin. We surprised the world and, and also Ukrainians on how actually united and efficient we have been. What is, currently very, what is currently very important is how we are going to translate all that political goodwill into the practical long-term support program because where some analysts, some experts were wrong when the war started, they were wrong about the Uh, duration of military activities. Uh, many of them thought that three days, three weeks, not more than one month. Now we all understand that this war is going to last for a while, and now we all understand that we need to get this kind of policy, the strategy, uh, not only here in the European Union, but also in a broader sense in the NATO, in coalition of those countries that are supporting Ukraine uh, on a long-term strategy. That requires more finances for Ukraine, that requires clear political path for Ukraine and Moldova to join the European Union, that requires build-up of defense industry, defense capabilities of European uh, members of NATO, of the EU member states. So there is plenty to do, but I do believe that, yes, the calculation of Putin is there. Now we have to do whatever it takes to prove him completely wrong. Thank you very much. Thank you.